we know that we got last week some dynamic content for Brizzy and we've made some tests with it and the beginning looks okay. There is still a long way to go because dynamic content covers a lot. The main purpose is often to give you more control over your post and your post archives and your single posts, but also for many other applications like WooCommerce. They also use dynamic content. Then we had posted a video last week just very quickly looking at how does it look when we work with the WordPress editor, different themes, how does it display? And a very interesting question was raised and that is based on mobile responsiveness. Now I know for many of us, I want to say most of us, we usually sit with a computer desktop in front of us when we are designing a website and as an afterthought, we go and look at the mobile how does it look in cell phone? I got a very nice article that I looked at earlier this year, and I will share the link below about mobile traffic and the importance of how mobile is changing the world. A very interesting combination or you know contrast here of what is mobile friendly versus responsiveness. Basically, a mobile friendly website just reduces everything, squashes it in, make your picture smaller, whereas responsiveness relates to changing the images to a proportional shape that will look good on the display. That is for both tablet and for mobile. But just to give you a few things of what they said here, last year alone, mobile traffic contributed to, what, 53% of what was going on on the internet. That was last year. And it's estimated that by this year, it will reach up to almost 80%. Now, I know that when it comes to websites, I think people still go to the desktop and they check. But usually when you send it to them via WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger or they get it in the email on their phone, they will click on it and they'll look at it on their phone at that moment. And if you walk into any cell phone store at this moment, you just don't find small cell phones. The, the majority of these phones are huge. So that alone tells you how important you know, responsiveness is when it comes to your website design. Just look here in 2017, mobile e-commerce. So online shopping, 50% in the US alone was done online from a phone. So based on this that was raised, I thought let's have a look quickly at posts and how do they display in terms of mobile view. Now important and this is something that I find many people get confused about, is exactly what is the whole thing behind posts? You know, what is a post archive and what is a single post? And it, get, it gets confusing later on because you get into custom post types and even something like WooCommerce who's got their own shop page. These are all sort of in a way related to posts. These are a category, it's a taxonomy and it can become quite confusing. So we don't go too deeply in this and I will cover that in other videos on another channel, but we just have a quick look for our own interest sake at how this works. Now, because I don't think the dynamic content yet is ready for post and post archives in Brizzy, you still have to rely on a theme at this moment. And this is, I would say, probably one of the biggest features that themes always had, and that is how do they present post archives and single posts. So we had a look at this last time, and I've gone and I've made three new posts for our test for today. I've just used random text generator. So this is, uh, I forgot now, Serbian, Serbian. If it is offensive text, please, this was random text generator. Blame them for it. And then we have a Japanese one over here also, and then English one over here, two English ones at the bottom, all done with random text generator. And the theme that I'm currently using is our good old 2017, which is the default theme that comes installed with Word WordPress when you make a new install. Now, I, I played around to look at how these posts display. So the first thing we will look at on your archive page, which is your news, which is your post page. How do they look? How do they display? And you can see the 2017 actually gives you the full post. There is no purpose even for you to click into the single post because everything is displayed there. You can make it shorter by adding a read more function in here, 
But if you didn't do that, this is how it will be display in 2017. And then if we go and have a look at a single post, so let's have a look at this one. Open link a new window. And then you will see here is our featured image. And then we have our categories on the right. We have tags. And then we have a list of all our re recent posts here. And then here is our article, the date, my name, category, photo or picture in there, and a small gallery included. And then we have the comments here at the bottom with the next article over here. Now, if we go into responsive view, which is mobile, we're not going to look at tablet at this moment. How does it look? And actually, you'll be surprised to see it looks very good in 2017. There is your hamburger menu. Very nice. And there is your featured article. And you see it's nicely spaced. I, I think actually, if you are looking in terms of mobile responsiveness, you will see that most of these themes, they do a very, very good job. So for the posts and the post archive, I would say you can safely go with almost all of the themes we'll be quickly looking at. So I'll be doing this all the time, going back and forth, back and forth, looking at that. So let's begin our journey into Astra and we have a quick look at that. And this is just for interest sake on this day because we are bored and we've got nothing to do. First, Astra and how does it look on the post archive page, our news page? Astra gives us this read more function, which I like. So it's not the entire post on your front page. You have to click into it and then it will give you your single post. And the single post will display like this. We've got our categories, tags, recent news, and very nice and clean. I like it a lot. And if we go then into our mobile view, also nicely done. Here's the hamburger menu. Looks very good. And you may be asking me, you will be saying, hey, JP, but is that the only thing you can do with the Astro theme? Of course not. There is styling options in your customizer. And if you buy the pro version, you get so, so much more. So we're looking at the vanilla install of each theme and the free versions only. Right, that was Astra, looking good. Then the other one is Customify. Customify, we activate you. And then for the post archive page, also read more. Very nice, actually, they give a long, a wide, a wide featured image and then the text with the read more button. I like this, very nice and clean. And then if we go and look at a single post, very similar to Astra in this regard. Very, very similar. Okay, let's look at the mobile responsiveness. Nice hamburger menu here with a slide in menu from the left. I'm pretty sure you can adjust that. And the text looks good. The images look good. You can see in terms of mobile responsiveness, because the, the themes have been doing this for so long, they've really nailed it down. Page builders may still struggle with this for their pages, but the themes have really, really invested a lot in this in making it look good. Flexia is one of those that are sort of, um, it's been said that you can use it with Brizzy and it's on madewithbrizzy.com. You can go check out the website for that one. Let's have a look at how Flexia handles. Right, this is quite a big header up here. Oh, very different. They throw everything on the left. I like this up here, nice color scheming. Okay, and Flexia seems to give us the entire post, right? You can see it's the whole entire post in full. Maybe there's also a read more function that you can add to it. Let's just have a look at the single post. Okay, you're looking good. Well, we still have that white space, which I'm not too crazy about, but I like, I like these things up here. Interesting, different approach. And let's look at how it displays. Okay, hamburger menu, I'll have to adjust that a little bit squashed in there. Okay, drop down and then moving down, displays, okay. Maybe the font and the spacing a little too big, but not bad. Yeah, I like what they've done with the thumbnails here at the bottom. Right, that is Flexia, in case you didn't know about Flexia. Generate Press, our other favorite in the world of themes. And let's have a look at what Generate Press does. Okay, with the entire Generate Press then seems to also give us the entire post. So you'll also have to add a read more function in there. And if we look at the single post, right, good, good, looks good. And let's see how it 
displays. I like the menu. This kind of menu, nice block, very visual like that. Looks good, yes, and I like the images at the bottom as well. This is going to display very nicely on a cell phone. Then another one that is recommended, Hestia. That's the word I was looking for earlier, Hestia, Hestia. Right, what does Hestia do with our post archive? Okay, Hestia is a horse of a different color, quite pink. I'm pretty sure you can style this to your heart's delight. Okay, images very different. Okay, they've gone for a very different approach. You can see here is your featured image and then excerpt over here. Um, yes, this is something totally different. I like it's very colorful. Let's see what they did with the single post. What did Hestia do? Nice, okay. Oh, oh yeah, we mentioned about this slider parallax effect in the background. This is very nice. I like it's also very clean, very colorful, grabs your attention. Let's see what it does for the mobile view. Good, 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 good. We like it. It gets our rating of approval. No hamburger menu here, but once you start scrolling, it pops down. Okay, that's pretty nice. Themes are so different, right? Flexia Novelite. Now, Novelite is also one from themehunk.com, and this is a free version. There's pro version. I'll leave the link for you in the description below. Novelite, what did you do with the post archive page? Right, nice, so far, or read more button here. Okay. And single posts. This is for Novelite. Right, they put the featured image. No featured image, interesting. Okay, yeah, no featured image. I wonder if it has to load. I do know there's a plugin that I didn't load for it. Maybe it needs that. Let's see how it looks in mobile view. Good, I like the hamburger menu there. Sticky overlay, that's good. Novalite, we're almost done. Novalite, Ocean WP for you and me. Let's see. And we just know that Ocean WP is going to do the job. When you've been this long in the business and you're this famous, you have to be on the ball. Yes. So this is our post archive page, very big display. And you can, of course, change this with Ocean WP customizer. And especially with the pro version, you get a lot of features. If we go to the single post, doom, doom, doom. Okay, featured image, very nice clean layout. Let's look at that responsiveness for the mobile. Nice menu up here. Slide in from the left. Doom, doom, doom. Breadcrumbs, I love breadcrumbs. And yeah, ah, oh, okay, displays very nicely. And I like, you might also like the other posts here at the bottom. Looks good, Ocean WP. And then I think our last two, the one that's new kid on the block, Suki. What are you looking for? And then post, post archives for Suki. Okay, I think Suki also gives us the entire article. So you see the entire post is here, which you will have to add a read more function. And but displays very clean, very nicely. I like it, right? And of course, you'll have to put a read more in there. Otherwise, what's the purpose of a single post? Let's look at the single post here for Suki. Right, very nicely displayed. And in terms of mobile view, nice hamburger menu, slide in from the left. Good. And it looks nice and clean, well displayed. Great stuff. And then our last one, in this little test is the journal and the journal is one of theme fuse they're free themes and theme fuse are the same guys that make brizzy so let's activate that let's have a look here right the journal very very different i like it i like it very journalistic. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, and then let's have a look at the single post. How does that display? Nice and clean, very well done with those margins there. And in mobile view, nice hamburger menu here. I'm getting hungry. And it displays very well. 
good. This is purely just for interest sake, doesn't say anyone is better than the other. And in fact, in mobile view, they all perform very well in terms of post archives and single posts. Now, as dynamic content comes in and you create your own templates and you use the dynamic content to bring in those post archives and single posts, you will slowly move away from your theme if you want to. But if you want to have a good layout, you can choose a good theme for yourself and you don't need to go through all that effort. But this is how they look. This is how they display in cell phone and mobile view. And I think all of them highly recommendable. They really, really do a very nice job.